Resetting the administrative password in MySQL Server is relatively straightforward if you have access to the server itself. Now the following commands we're going to run on Ubuntu bash command line. However, these commands are very similar to what you would run on any other version of Linux or even Windows. Because we're running the commands against MySQL Server, not against the operating system. So the operating system is relatively unimportant in this demonstration. And we're going to need administrative privileges to run these commands. On Windows, you do that as administrator. On Linux, you can use the sudo command in front of each of the commands. So the first thing you need to do is stop the MySQL servers running. If you don't want to type sudo in front of every command, you can use an elevated command prompt. We're going to restart MySQL. We're going to use the skip grant tables option. This means that MySQL server will not check privileges when you try to log in. So now that we have it restarted, we can log in as the root user, but we're not going to be prompted for a password. We're going to use the MySQL client with the dash u or user option and log in as root, which is the administrative user for MySQL. Now that we're logged in, we're going to switch to the MySQL database. It's a little bit confusing because the name of the product is MySQL, the name of the client is MySQL, and the name of the database that the server uses to keep track of configuration is also MySQL. But this database is where configurations, including user accounts and password hashes, are stored. In particular, the user table contains the usernames and password hashes. We can describe the user table to see the schema, including the attributes that make up the table. In particular, we're interested in the user column, which is the username, and the authentication string column, which contains the password for the user. We also are interested in the plugin column. The authentication string column has only been named this in the last few versions of MySQL Server. Before, it was called the password field or password attribute. And a lot of documentation still tells you to update the password attribute but this won't work because it doesn't exist anymore, at least not on the newer versions of the server. So you need to take note of the name of this field. In order to set the password, we can replace the password hash that's in the table now with a new password hash. Notice MySQL Server doesn't store passwords, but it stores the hash of the password for security reasons. Whenever a user tries to log in, it compares the password hash created from the login attempt and sees if that matches the password hash that's in the user table for that user. If the two hashes match, MySQL Server assumes that's the correct password since it would be so unlikely if someone would type in another string that would have the same hash. So let's go ahead and update the password hash using the password function. You can take a look at the password function just by using it to hash a word. So if we hash the word password with it, you'll see the resulting hash. Notice the star in front of it indicates that the type of hash is a MySQL server double shot hash. We're going to update the user table now. We're going to set the authentication string field to the new hash. So you pick your password. For example, if we use password, it's going to generate this hash here. And we want to say where the user is equal to the administrative user, which is username is root. Now, we also want to take special note of the plugin authentication type. It was already set to MySQL native password. If it wasn't, we would have to override that. Because when we try to log in with the root password, we want to make sure that the type of authentication MySQL server checks against is passwords. You could do this by updating the user table and you would just set that plugin attribute. And if it's not already set to MySQL native password, just change it to that using the following command.
So once you're done, flush the privileges. And then exit. Now you'll need to stop the MySQL server and restart it. And now you'll be able to log in with your new password. So now you can bypass authentication fairly easily just by replacing the password hash on file with a new password hash.